Hello Galaxy Heroes, Mikey here, or actually uh, technically Yorkie here. So this is my uh, my alt account. This was the account that I created um, back in the day when I was a guild leader um, just to be uh, a 600 filler. So basically if players couldn't make their 600s, they'd get booted out of the guild just beforehand and alts like York would be called in just to... Uh, cover the 600s and then the the player would be brought back once the um once the the 30k for the day had been achieved um all of that of course changed with the introduction of territory wars territory battles and everything else things that were you know that basically required um, you know group participation and everything else so um but i continued with the account and yeah so this is this is me sharing um where are we this is the the last round of this current uh i'm gonna have to see where we are date wise we are on so it's the 17th of september 2020 um this is round three battle one i would assume um i can uh, i will kind of give a, a slight overview well overview i'll try and remember to comment at the end about the outcome because i've seen now the outcome of this round um but yeah, I wanted to share this. So, so basically, uh, what's been going on is there's not much in the way of my main account, Mike's um, GAC. I have got some, and I'll see if I can upload the the round of just four facing two Galactic Legends. Um, Yorkie, this account is 4.8 million GP. Um, so faces a different kind, different lot of um, challenges. Uh, so basically, there's normally quite a rock face fall off of squad strength. You know, you, you, so uh, 4.8, you'll have a, a smattering. I think Yorkie's got now 16 relic tune, tunes, maybe maybe one or two more, but something in that region. Um, and then there'll be a, a load of gear 12s some gear 11s and then it falls away quite dramatically and that tends to be you know, throughout you know so like at, the, at that at that gp level that's kind of the thing this battle annoyed me i played it differently to how i would normally play it normally i would just focus down constantly on annie and eventually rexonate no not annie yeah jka i would focus on jka um so spoiler alert this battle does not go the way i had intended it to go and i don't know so basically i was doing it i was tired when i was running this battle excuses excuses um but all of a sudden look i'm i'm kind of like what the hell i'm down to one tune this is very wrong uh did manage to get rid of the taunting tank at least um so we'll come back to that one so there's my fail so now I know that the pressure's on me. Um, one of only a few fails um, that I've experienced, in actual fact. Um, it's quite amusing. I actually got I got accused of cheating in a previous round. And even after explaining all the comps that I used, um, what I haven't done here is done a, a video. I, I will try and uncover... Um, Yorkie's roster but one thing I do try to do is ensure that if I've relic to tune that they are, have 6e mods so you know it's not just the gear it's also the mods that go with the gear that kind of you know make the whole thing so here CLS is gear 12 R2 is gear 12 CLS has two Zetas basically doesn't have the tenacity Zeta R2 has both Zetas and Chewie and Han have all the Zetas they can have. Chewie and Han are full 6E mods as well. So now I'm just looking through, looking. So we've got Night Sisters with a couple of Zetas. So, and I know that I've got to get through this, uh, this Padme squad. Um, I need to clear the Padme squad. 
So I, I think, yeah. So we're gonna, we're just not gonna, we're not gonna mess about. We're just gonna go with the Jedi. And as you can see here, there's one relic Jedi, which is Jedi Knight Revan. The rest of them are gear 12 or lower. Uh, Hermit Yoda. I've, if you haven't worked on Hermit Yoda, do. Hermit Yoda is brilliant, even at a low gear level. Uh, throws out the foresight on everyone. I can't believe I'm ad advocating it, but I am. Yeah, foresight saves. You know, so foresight is clutch on offense. Um, is absolutely atrocious when you're attacking it. Um, it's it's one of my biggest hates on attacking. But you know, when you're trying to get as many points as possible on a gag board, uh, foresight on on your tunes. Yeah, it's got to be done. So there we go. We're cleared. Uh, I think we cleared with 40, which is pretty much the maximum. I could have tried to under, underman the squad, but nah, not against Padme. You, know, you don't mess about there. So now we're going to go Galactic Republic here with the remainders. So yeah, works really well. Um, I must admit, I, there are two squads that I do love to use. One is this one here, and the other ones are the Geos. And the reason why I love to use them is both of them will get turns on cleansing effectively. So um, this squad, any special ability used, will proc uh, Ahsoka into going. Uh, fantastic. So we've, we've got rid of Daka, so as long as... Uh, Mother Towson doesn't kill someone. Daka's not coming back. Uh, if we can get rid of Daka, Daka. If we can get rid of Mother Towson, then that effectively will uh, remove another plague source. Although we're now kind of exposed to her popping up and doing that, but we're yeah, we've got no plague. So yay! There you go. Fifty-eight banners there. So working our way through, uh, Nest, yeah, Nest, I'm, I'm never happy about Nest. Uh, Nest can can go south very quickly. Uh, I didn't actually check the modding of my opponent's Nest. Um, we know what we're going to get, so basically work towards or work with... Um, a squad that doesn't require a group attack. Because if we are dazed, you know, that will nullify that squad. Uh, so I'm opting to go um, Sith Empire. No, not Sith Empire. Sith with the Traitor well, the Traitor Trio. Um, let's do a bit of speedy uppy. And so we've got to get rid of... Getting rid of Kira just takes away that AoE that she has. So there's the first uh, lot of days. So now I've kind of realised, hang on a sec, uh, Veteran Smuggler Chewy needs to go because Veteran Smuggler Chewy, I didn't clock whether there was a Zeta on there. Um, and I'm not sure even if the Zeta is required for them to revive. Didn't want to take the chance. You, know, you don't want to be having to keep killing tunes constantly only for them to be revived. Um, so now Sion does his bit, he's now the Hulk and we're just going to try and get up to this stage, boom, done, got it, 55 banners, another squad taken care of and as you can see my score is accumulating, uh, maybe some of you already worked out a big reason why this particular round was recorded um i did say i've been having su some success yeah so mikey i lost mikey's account for over a week and this is while i'm i'm still recovering from uh, an operation that that went very wrong um glad to say that um, everything all the markers and everything are going in the right direction i've been at home for just over a week um there's still I'm still having to go to clinic and stuff, uh, but some major th you know, some major targets are going to be hit quite soon. Which just yeah, so basically I won't be connected to anything. I'm walking around with a a pump draining crap from a wound at the moment. Um, 
once that's gone, I will have nothing more attached to me, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, as I've been connected to stuff and having to, yeah, have drips and all sorts in me ever since the 25th of August. Uh, and as I've just said, it's the 17th of September now. So that would be nice to get finished. So this is, sorry, I, I'm, I keep switching over. This is my favourite go-to squad it, it gets me an undermanned challenge as well. But the, the idea here, the way that I run this, is that um, I've got options. So if all of my tunes are dazed, then I can call in Plo and just do a cleanse. Otherwise, what I can do is I can bring in uh, Xanadu Blood and do an AoE with that and put a bit on there. Yeah, so proc my hound's tooths, taunt for longer, and pop it onto ETA for a big hit. So, so how it went in, got the know thy enemy, and I've hit Kaiba on the first round. Yorkie was the only one I was able to play. Um, Yorkie was just provided me with a lifeline distract, not a lifeline, but a distraction at a time when I really needed it. And that blew me as well away as well. Rank number eight. I mean, by the time I go out of the menu and back into the menu, uh, that changes to 41. It was 69 later on that evening and has gone up to the 140s by now, not 100s by now. But yeah, I was just so pleased. Uh, thank you for allowing me to share this with you all. Thank you for watching.